Utah teens did not attend class, scared because of a rumored threat. As Lorigel Locke tells us, parents and police are now involved. Lorigel. Anita, Northwest High School administrators suspended a student for making a threat. The Wichita Public School District and Police Department say no target or date was mentioned, but we did talk to a student who told us more upsetting details and is still afraid, insisting on being disguised for this interview. Wednesday, students at Northwest High School heard a male sophomore allegedly making a frightening threat. Some friends of mine had overheard a bunch of students talking about how they decided they were going to reenact the Columbine shooting at Northwest High. The students reported it immediately and an investigation began. It was a very nerve-wracking situation. We didn't know, you know, when it was going to take place or who was involved, who to stay away from, where to hide from it, I guess. Word spread fast through cell phone text messages. That led to confusion and rumors about whether the shooting would take place at Northwest or at another school, including South High. Investigators are looking into the motive of the students who sent the text messages. To me, if it was done to indeed create havoc in the district, uh, the ultimate consequence could be an expulsion for 186 days. Now many are wondering what's behind the rash of school violence at the local and national levels. Psychologist Dr. Howard Brodsky says the publicity is resulting in copycats. He also says now more than ever, teens are in their own worlds. They've got their own radio stations, they've got their own publications, they've got their own MySpace, uh, and they're less and less involved in discussing things with adults. They're less and less having those kinds of uh, boundaries placed on them. Meanwhile, more fallout at Northwest over the threat. 600 students were absent Thursday, three times the normal absentee amount. However, school superintendent Winston Brooks still sent his son to school there. I, uh, I had literally uh, no concern about his school safety today. But the student we talked to is worried about returning to school. It's going to be very awkward. It's going to be very nerve-wracking, nerve not knowing what to fully expect. And we should know next week if the student who made the threat will face criminal charges. The school district did send letters home to Northwest and South High parents to reassure them. Also at Northwest, more patrols and security personnel have been put in place. Laura Gale Locke, KSN News. Laura Gale, because of the recent events, we've been focusing a great